Hi. So I wanted to take a moment and talk to you about all of this energy that has been coming in. Over the weekend, we had a blast of energy that was absolutely amazing. Uh, there have been certain scientists who picked up on some anomalies coming in that they can't explain, and that's always really exciting to see. Um, that when our instruments start to actually pick up and validate some of what is happening, it really helps us to go, okay, so we're not making this up. We're not exaggerating. We're not crazy. This is really happening. We are in the midst of one of the most amazing shifts ever, <laughs> ever. And so there was a lot of energy that came in. And the last time I really talked about this, I shared that there had been mass landings and that, uh, you know, the Galactic Federation had told me that they were coming in and they were doing mass landings. And the purpose was to help anchor the tectonic plates within the earth um, because we are shifting. And so as everything heats up and the earth is heating up, um, the inner core of the earth is heating up. There's a lot of shifting taking place. There's a lot of um, volcanoes. I mean, we're seeing what's happening in Iceland and other places. So these shifts will happen, but it's a question of can they happen with some sort of warning, some sort of organization so that it's not a giant boom all at one time that we can't handle. So the plan B, and I still have no idea what plan A was, was to come in, use the ships to anchor the plates and to help bring stability. Now, there was something else with that that I didn't share at the time. And that is that these beings were going to be everywhere. What would they have discovered is that when you have a higher light being, whether they go into the human disguise or they stay in the etheric, their vibration helps to raise the vibration of all of the people around them. And so what I was shown on Saturday is not only did a stream of light come in, but there was activation of each of these beings in a network all over the world. So the energy coming in was streamed not only from above, but ground level. And when we really understand that, it's like, oh, that's why we're getting so nailed. But the importance of it is it's designed to shift our DNA. It's designed to move us to this next phase and accelerate that because there is a lot going on with the earth. So there is a push to accelerate this process. And this is a really, this is a really good thing. And it's working. And so, you know, when I went into a meeting on Saturday, they said, we're, we're thrilled. We're thrilled with the results. We're thrilled with how people are um, really receiving this energy. And, you know, just when it's on this ground level, it's coming in from above, yes, but it's also on ground level. It's also helping to shift everything at a more accelerated rate. All really neat stuff. Now, another thing that happened is, you know, and I, I hesitated to share this because, you know, so many can get lost in their head with this stuff. But I, it was, it was a really interesting day for me because I woke up, I had had a dream of my dad who's been gone since 2000 and he was sitting in a chair and he had these coins and he said, you need to put one in your heart, your throat, your sacral. And I was like, okay. And so I did. And I was getting where there was one more. And I was getting ready to like figure out, okay, well, what is that? And when my husband woke me up. And so I lost it. And then, you know, the day gets busy and you get running around and, you know, you don't even think about it. So afternoon comes and I said to my husband, I said, you know, I'm going to go lay down. I'm going to go meditate. I need to really just kind of sink into the energies of the day. And as I was meditating and I'm feeling all the energy coming 
in and around this earth and it was just glorious. I heard very clearly, open your eyes. And I opened my eyes and there were four beings in my bedroom that were beaming this blue light to me. And I was very surprised because a lot of times when I interact with the galactics, it's through the third eye. It's in the etheric. This was a situation where if I closed my eyes, I couldn't see them anymore. And so that was definitely new. And they weren't as solid as, let's say, you know, my dog or, you know, my husband, but they were more solid than I've ever seen them before. And so I asked them, I said, well, what are you, you know, what are you here for? What, what can I do for you? And they said that they were there to share some energy with me, but that I needed to get the last coin from my dad. And I was like, oh, so I went and I journeyed back into that space and time um, of that in-between dreamscape because it's those type of things are not actually dreams. That's where you are in the space to where you can receive messages. You can get healing. I mean, it is a really, really beautiful space that's usually found kind of like right before we wake up. So usually after 4 a.m. to somewhere around 6 a.m., sometimes later. So I go back and I see my dad and he's just kind of looking at me and he's just shaking his head. And I was like, sorry, you know, I got interrupted. And I said, well, what is this one for? And he said, it's for your brain. And he said, and it's important because it's going to keep you from being fried. And I was like, okay, got it. So he gave it to me and I put it into my brain. I mean, it was, it was really interesting because in that space, it was like doop, dropping it in. And then I come back to my bedroom, open my eyes, and they're still there. And I'm just kind of like, i in shock. <laughs> I can't believe that this is happening and really also excited. So they each put energy into um, the areas, my sacral, my heart, my throat, and my brain. And the final one was the brain. And as this being is holding my head, uh, he says to me, and it being felt more masculine, says to me, you're going to have a headache. And I was like, that's fine. That's fine. And I, I said, what is this? And he said, this is going to help reactivate you. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, you came in knowing. You know, I always knew I came in connected. I could see elementals and all sorts of stuff. But I think coming in knowing is a different thing. Because it's it's like not going as deep through the veil of forgetfulness or not at all. And I said, okay. And they said, you shut everything down to survive. And I said, yeah, but I've opened back up. And they said, not to all of it. And I was like, okay. Um, and then, and then they told me that there will be more visitations, not necessarily for me, but now's the time. The star families are connecting. They are absolutely connecting and they can be doing it through that etheric dream state. It may not be what I received in the bedroom. And so check in with yourself. You know, because as much as we may want contact, are you going to freak out if you see a being standing in your room? And if you are, they're going to come through the etheric. If they're not able to get in, it's too dense to get in through whatever programming, whatever it is we have, they will go through the etheric. And, and it works just the same. It's just a, a way through to you. So they also really, I was the one hesitant to share this, but they have continued to say to me that it's important that if we have these experiences to share them because we need to normalize them and quickly. We need to normalize that it is not only fine, that it's, you know, you're not crazy. And... So it's important that we share them. So if you are having these dreams, you are having visitations, however they look, please share them. Share them with the people that you trust. Share them, you know, in groups. This has to become normalized because we are shifting very, very quickly now. 
So I just wanted to share this with you. Take care.